very important the job that NORAD has. They, they, it did, as a matter of fact. You should write that and put it in a Hallmark card. The, I might. The, boy, the, uh, the men and women at NORAD, very important job with our Canadian military, making sure that the skies are safe over Canada and we can't have any, you know, renegade sleighs with, I don't, with any reindeer. Unless, of course, we get a positive identification on the bogey in our region. Okay. Um, yes. When it's so Santa Claus, we get excited. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned to the Weather <laughs> Network because on Christmas Eve, we are going to be tracking Santa Claus's progress. So make sure you stay tuned in. Let's take a look at some of the conditions <laughs> throughout the United States today. And it's going to be uh, a decent day to the west, that's for sure. We are going to be seeing uh, warmish temperatures for L.A. and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, 17 degrees and lots of sun. Let's take a look at a few of those regions across the United States. Boston, again, with a bit of mixing Chicago. Uh, not really the windy city today. That has actually started to diminish zero degrees for you. And a pleasant 11, albeit cloudy, for you in Atlanta, Georgia. All right, to the north now. We are going to be seeing clear skies for the most part today through Newfoundland. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. These are today's top stories. It's cold and it's mainly clear, but you will be seeing some light snow in New Brunswick as well as Nova Scotia today. As it continues its progression through Ontario, right now blowing snow in North Bay, snow developing in Sudbury. To the south, however, temperatures on the rise. Wild, wild west. Today is going to be fairly stormy for the coast, the coastal mountains, and into the interior. Significant snowfall is expected. Love those details right now. It's time for your national forecast. I'm Emily Vukovic along with Chris May. Mm -hmm. It is Wednesday. It is December the 19th. And Chris, before we get into it, I have to uh, get into the weather, that is. I have to tell you this story that we found on the line. A toilet paper wedding dress. What do you think? If your wife walked down the aisle oh, wearing how, a toilet paper how wedding today, dress. How today? How hip? I don't know. I don't know much about toilet paper wedding dresses, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't think too many people do. I know my wife costs an awful lot more than that, though. <laughs> well, yeah, it could have been the, uh, the cheaper version, that's for sure. Now, this couple actually decided to tie the knot in New York, in Times Square, in a public restroom. <laughs> yeah, but they're getting all of their expenses paid as part of a Charmin promotion. Oh, that's interesting. And they're wearing, she's wearing a toilet paper gown. <laughs> Now, the forecast for New York shows showers on their wedding day, which six is... Six degrees. Which, and six, but six degrees. It'll be mild rain. It's supposed to be good you, luck, You right? just hope that uh, rain on, on a wedding day? Yeah. I don't know. Could you be know that luck. Alanis Morissette song? That's true, too. I think only Alanis believes that it is a bad good luck. luck. I think it's bad luck. Yeah, bad luck on a wedding day. <laughs> Uh, this will be a true test to the absorbency of Charmin uh, bathroom tissues, however, so we want to obviously uh, keep tuned to that <laughs> with the quilted fabric that they use. Don't squeeze the Charmin. Don't squeeze the bride. <laughs> okay. We're going to jump now to uh, current system <laughs> and maybe um, get off the toilet paper wedding dress, and we're going to talk about what's happening right across the Showers country. Showers in New York, though. <laughs> we'll be telling you that. Stay tuned. Traveler's forecast coming up this hour. I'm having a hard time keeping it together with this toilet paper wedding dress story. Okay. Current systems now, and uh, there's that light trough through Newfoundland, bringing with it some very light snow. Atlantic Canada, clear and cold for the most part today, but you are going to see some snow developing in New Brunswick as well as Nova Scotia by this afternoon. Light flurries across the northern uh, Great Lakes and we've seen this from Kenora, Dryden. Actually snow starting to develop on the back side of this and the advance of this uh, instability from the west in Winnipeg. Some light snow. So watch for this continuing to progress towards east. Very light snow f for the most part. Ottawa Valley could see a few uh, centimeters of accumulation, however. Okay, and in British Columbia, heavy rainfall is going to be the situation for you on the coast. We'll have details on that in a moment. Very cold temperatures for you in Atlantic Canada. Oh, yeah, anything west of the St. Lawrence, winds coming from the north here into the mid to high minus teens. And the system we were talking about in Ontario, uh, just looking at light flurries through Timmins, Kapiskasing, Earlton continues. Now, checking the accumulations, and you're barely at one centimeter. So mm -hmm. it is fleeting and, uh, and, and very light still at, uh, at this hour. Okay, so through uh, Ontario today, you can take a look at the situation. Well, our radar is a little bit wonky there. There it today. Oh. Uh, it's just very light snowfall, as Chris was mentioning. To the south, by this afternoon, there's the potential for some mixing through Hamilton, through Toronto, even as far east as Kingston. Even though it's showing snowfall on here, there is the potential, because of your warm-ish temperature of one degree, yes. you could be seeing some rain today. Oh, absolutely. The winds will be coming from...